Welcome back to another discussion video. Hope you guys are all doing well, enjoying your weekend, having a nice relaxing Sunday, if that's when you're watching this. Today I got a couple topics I would like to discuss. We got some Jound Reeboks coming out very soon. We got some Nike Supreme leaks from Fall Under 22. And then just a few things that I've been seeing around the city, some observations that I've made fashion-wise. Uh, figured I'd talk about those because I thought it was kind of interesting, kind of took me by surprise. But if you are watching the video and you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. I'm trying to get 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Is it possible? I don't know, but I can't do it if you hit that subscribe button. So hit that subscribe button and let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is Leon Dore, the vintage capsule curated collection that Ami Leon Dore does. They just dropped their third iteration yesterday as I'm recording this on Friday. And basically it's just a vintage piece of that they've taken inspiration from for the past seasons. I like to look at it because I like to see how they style pieces. I think the styling is extremely good, especially with the vintage pieces. Now the vintage pieces are amazing. They can be really amazing, don't get me wrong. But the prices are insane. For example, we have this Marlboro hat. I believe it was 75 Canadian. And I searched up on eBay real quick. I was able to find numerous ones for like 30 to $40. Um, that's the main example that comes to my mind. Now, I had a Jay-Z vinyl as well that was like, I don't know the price, but it was a lot. You can find that secondhand for very cheap. Not very cheap, but definitely a lot cheaper. So the one thing I would say about the Leon Dore stuff is you can definitely find alternatives or even the exact same pieces on eBay, Grailed, <clears throat> Depop. I know personally they had this Sergio Ticini zip-up sweater that they had. I forget if it was the first installment or the second one and the price was kind of ridiculous. I went on eBay, found it for $30 and bought it. You can definitely find it. Especially helpful because they have the exact name of the item. Like also, for example, they have a New York Yankees Uniqlo jumper that I think they sold for like $175. So just things like that you can definitely find on eBay. But definitely I like to look at the pieces for inspiration and it helps me. I can find some pieces that I wouldn't normally look, look, at, look at. It's definitely cool to see. Um, Leon Dor, check it out. Everything's pretty much sold out by now, but you could, like I said, you can go on eBay and almost find the exact same thing. And now I would like to talk about Palace again. I feel like they've been having an extremely strong season, honestly. Uh, one of my favorite pieces that they've dropped was the Palazzo Knit Sweater, the Inter Milan inspired like knit sweater. I wasn't fast enough on drop day to grab it, unfortunately, it sold out. I reached out to people in New York and London, but it sold out there probably pretty fast as well. And that was one of my favorite pieces. I would have loved to get my hands on it. I know the Palazzo knits that they always do are very well done. And this season, I think they've been doing an incredible job. They just had the collab with Rafa, the cycling company, where they had some really cool jackets, pants, skirts, biking jerseys. And I feel like bike, biking scene, biking culture, it's kind of going to take off here a little bit in the same way that the Blowcore did. But I think Blowcore is officially dead right now. I would say so. I don't see many people doing it on TikTok anymore. It was definitely a short-lived trend which I'm fine with. I still wear my jerseys, as you can see, I'm wearing one right now. So I'll, I'll continue to wear them. Like, I don't really care that it was a trend or that it was really popular. I'll just keep wearing them. But biking culture, I feel like, especially in the summer, I know my girlfriend and I have been cycling a lot recently downtown around the river and stuff like that. So it's cool to see. I know a lot of people are into biking. Obviously, it's, it's a fun way to get around. It's exercise. It's easy to get around, you know, especially if you're in a bikeable city like New York, London, Amsterdam. Uh, it's, very, it's very fun and it's exercise. Like I said, biking culture, I think is kind of, I don't really know how I would classify a biking outfit. You can pretty much wear anything to bike, like shorts, just a jersey, a t-shirt, like something breathable, something lightweight. But I'm excited to see where it kind of goes and what happens. I know Perks and Mini also has some collaborations with a, a biking brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put it up on screen here, but I know they've done some things like that. Obviously the Palace Rafa, I think this is their second collection. And it sold out quite quick, I think, most of the pieces, which is cool to see. So. Um, yeah, Palace, they've been killing it. I know they've got a Salomon collaboration coming out. I think a Crocs collaboration as well. So they've been doing a great job. They've been staying on top of trends and setting new trends as well. So really impressed with what they've been doing this season. And now the Jean de Reebok NPC collab. I believe it's dropping next week. Um, I'm not sure the exact date actually. I'll pull it up real quick on my laptop. But um, he posted, they've been posting teaser pictures and I think they just posted one yesterday, I want to say. And I said uh, they're dropping next week. Now, obviously, Jean's sneaker releases are incredibly sought after. And even though this is like a really basic one, 
a lot of their collabs are super basic, especially the Reeboks. But I feel like this one as well is going to sell out instantly. Hopefully their website can handle the the traffic. I know it's been kind of shady in the past, especially uh, when it drops on Reebok.ca as well and Reebok.com, it's like, it kind of flies and they don't really have the best bot protection and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I don't see any information on the exact date, but I would just keep my eye on their Instagram, their website, the email list, whatever, and expect it to drop next week sometime. Uh, I'm not sure if he's doing a pop-up in Montreal, but on his website it will drop and most likely fly. Also, the price point will probably be a little bit higher just because that's the way the Jean sneaker drops are. He tends to add that Jean tax, if you want to call it that, on top of the sneakers, which I guess whatever is fine. It's fine by me. That's the only real release coming up in the in the future, in the near future that's kind of caught my eyes. Something looking forward to Fall Winter 22 that I did see is a Nike Supreme leak. Uh, apparently. There's gonna be some Supreme ACG pieces. I don't have much to go off of. There's a little image, with like the ACG logo, the old logo with the triangle, and it says Supreme. So I'm very excited for that. If they bring back one of their fleeces, uh, the one of the, like, the old fleeces from the early 2000s, I'll be super stoked on that. I would definitely try to get my hands on that. So Nike Supreme ACG collab. Like I said, not much information, just a little leak. And there's also a leak on some Supreme blazers coming out in fall winter 22. I'll put some pictures up here. But again, not much information, obviously, it's, it's still a, it's just a leak, I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but definitely probably going to be one of the more sought after collabs that they do for the fall winter season. Um, whenever Nike and Supreme does something, it's always kind of pretty hype, sought after, it sells out pretty quick, and then it resells for a decent amount as well. So if you're interested in that, I would definitely keep my eye out, like I said, not going to be coming out till fall winter 22, and I actually have some dates here for the fall winter 22 stuff, as my laptop just died. But um, I'll just pull out my phone actually real quick. So yeah, the blazers that are set to release in Fall Winter 22 are similar to the OG ones that they did back in 2006 with some slight differences. As you can see, they've got the quilted leather with like the snake skin swooshes. Pretty cool, personally not my cup of tea, but I do think it's cool. And then for the upcoming season, where did I see that? I'll, I'll keep looking, but I do think they said that mid-August they're gonna show the lookbook and then the week after that will be the first drop in store. Um, not sure where I saw, I did see it somewhere, but I'll keep looking and if I do find the exact days, I'll put them up on screen, but mid-August for Supreme uh, Fall Winter 22, I think their spring summer sale is gonna happen. If it's not happening already, it's definitely gonna happen in the next week or so. But looking forward to that, I think Supreme still does a good job with their less loud not less loud pieces but less like logo plaster pieces i'm a big fan of what they do their trousers specifically i do love with a good supreme trouser so looking forward to what they have for in store for fall winter especially with the acg collab and um last couple things here is if you are in calgary or if you know of the calgary stampede uh it's just like a festival i guess some, i saw someone say coachella mixed with like stagecoach which i guess is kind of kind of true kind of similar to that but basically 10 day festival, festivities, lots of festivities around Calgary. My girlfriend and I got the 10 day unlimited pass. We don't usually go that much, but we got the 10 day unlimited pass and we've been going like a couple times so far. Um, and what I've been seeing a lot of, which kind of has surprised me, I don't know why, like, I don't know why I thought this brand was kind of dead, but I've seen a lot of kids, like high school kids wearing v Lone t-shirts. Uh, it's taken me by surprise. I thought, like as I thought v Lone was kind of in the dumps now in the deads and personally I don't, I've never really been a fan of v Lone. Their Air Forces that they were cool, but then other than that, the shirts were just not for me. I've seen a lot of shirts, a lot of the uh, Pop Smoke collabs and whatever other ones they've done, but I was kind of surprised by that. And then also some anti-social social club shirts, which I thought that brand was dead as well. But they have a club coming up undefeated, so I guess they're they're still doing well. Uh, I was a fan of that brand back in the day. I had a hoodie, and I think it was just a hoodie, and you know, you had to wait five months to get shipping, and it was just a huge catastrophe, but I don't know if they fixed that. Their logistics and supply chain management stuff was not the greatest. I don't know if that's still the case or not, but if it is, that's not very good. But if it's not, then that's better, and I guess they're still thriving as a band if they're clapping with Undefeated. But, but yeah, like, I was just kind of surprised to see a lot of people still wearing below. And as I said, it was just kids that were probably into the high stuff. They were in like Jordans and Dunks and all that stuff. So not really surprised, I guess. They That brand still goes. Obviously, Bari, not the greatest guy, but couple things quickly I'll just touch on some new kits that I've seen released for soccer football jerseys obviously Arsenal fan I like the new Arsenal one I like the collar the lightning bolts 
it pains me to say this, but the Man United home shirt is very nice as well. I'm a big fan of that. Like the crest they did, it was amazing. Adidas has done a great job as well again this year. Uh, Barcelona, I do love their away shirt. I think it's the gold one with like the really intricate design. I thought that one was really nice. Uh, of course, the Venezia one. The black one that they released last week, I want to say. The long sleeve version is amazing. The short sleeve version is amazing. Personally, I bought the short sleeve version and I can't wait for that one to come in. The uh, promo pics that they do are always incredible. I'll put them up here. And then I think yesterday or two days ago, they just released the away shirt as well, the white one. Very nice. Kappa and Venezia have been doing a phenomenal job. Obviously, last year, they probably had the shirt of the season, in my opinion. Um, those are the ones that come to mind first. The Barca, United, Arsenal, Venezia one. PSG one is not bad. I, I, I do like the centralized badge and the center strap going down the middle. It's not my favorite one, but I do think it's very nice. So those are the ones that immediately spring to mind. Um, yeah, those are just a few things I wanted to talk about with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed.